I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool, fast little mason bee house. And then after I show you how to make it, we'll talk about how to hang it and why mason bees can be beneficial to your yard and garden. Building a mason bee house is a great way to invite native pollinators into your yard and garden. Maybe you're not ready to have honeybees, but you still want the pollinator population increased. Let's get straight to the project. One large coffee can, brackets to attach your bee house to something. You can use any sort of metal bent in half. A few metal screws, an electric screw gun, with a driver that matches the metal screws, an armload of river cane or bamboo. You'll also need a piece of untreated two x four, probably 15 inches would do. You'll also need a 5 16 inch drill bit. Next, we're gonna strip all the little side branches off of this river cane until we just have the cane itself. I'm gonna cut five inch sections. Six inches is probably the ideal length for mason bees, but five inches works better with my can and it will work. I'm gonna start by cutting right beside one of these little divider sections. You can see that that little divider is actually solid and will work as a cap. We're gonna measure five inches. I'll put a little mark there. Now we have this little pipe, a cap on this end. This end is open. If we measure the interior diameter, it's actually 3 8 of an inch, a little larger than the ideal 5 16 of an inch. So there will be some variety here. So now we're just gonna cut as many of these as we can using this piece as a guide. Also cut your two by four into three five inch pieces. Next, punch a hole in what's gonna be the bottom of your bee house so that any water that gets in there will run out. Now here's the really fun part. We're gonna stack our bamboo sticks and our two by fours into the bee house in whatever pattern we want to. I found a pattern I liked. These are everything is just friction fitted. There's no glue or anything and everything is tight because I took time to pack them in there. Wow, isn't that cool? We've got our own little Mason Bee house. Now it's time to hang it up. There's a couple requirements you should think about when choosing a spot for your Mason Bee house. Number 1, it needs to be in a sheltered spot. It should also be facing east or south so it gets morning sun. It needs to have a source of mud or muddy dirt within 50, say 100 feet for the mason bees because they use it, it needs to have pollen sources, ideally your garden or fruit trees nearby as well. I'm gonna attach my two hanging brackets which are bent in half canning lids with a single metal screw. And I'm gonna hang it up under the eaves of the barn we will have a little weather protection. All right, there it is. Now we'll just have to keep an eye on it and see when any mason bees move in. Now that that's done, let's talk just a little bit about mason bees, what they are, what they're not. Now they're not honeybees. They look kind of like honeybees, but they're a lot smaller. They live all over the United States, probably all over the world. They are really cool little insects because they're great pollinators. Now these aren't the same as the big bumblebee looking carpenter bees that drill holes in your house and your barn. These mason bees actually don't drill holes, they have to find holes. That's why we build these houses to provide them with extra little spaces for their reproductive cycle. These bees go out and actively collect pollen. Then when they find a nesting site, a hole like the ones we just made, they pack the pollen into the back of the nesting hole. Then the females lay their eggs in the hole and they seal the whole thing off with mud. When the eggs hatch out, the larvae actually feed on the pollen, they develop into a pupa, and then they emerge to be pollinators themselves. There's well over a hundred 
species of these little friendly pollinators out there. I hope that you'll make your own mason bee house and join me in increasing the habitat for these lovely little creatures. It's been another great day on the homestead. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're new to our channel, we're the Art and Bree channel. We have a ton of videos, so check them out. Subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video.